This week, you can make a surreal collage. I'm going to tell you a bit about surrealism, a kind of art that combines unexpected things and collage, which you already know. This is a famous surreal painting. Do you know it? It's called The Persistence of Memory. And these dripping clocks were a way of showing that time could be really strange. It feels kind of like a dream or a real place all mixed up. It was made by this artist, Salvador Dali. He looks like fun, huh? Dali and his friends believed that in a strange world, dreams and fantasies were just as important as real life. This is another famous surreal painting. It's by an artist named René Magritte. Why is there an apple in front of his face? We don't know. Is it a symbol? Is he shy? Does he really like apples? Either way, it makes us wonder. Here are some student examples, too. They cut together pictures out of magazines, glued them, made beautiful backgrounds, and we've got these mysterious pictures. So that's what you're going to make today. For materials, I have the comics, some junk mail, a page from a sports magazine, and coupons for food. I cut out at least three things. You can do lots more. Baseball player, sandwich, Charlie Brown from the comics, some pizza, and this waterfall thing. I decided it was too big, so I cut it down. You need at least three. Before you glue anything down, have fun moving them around and creating a story. So for example, maybe this guy has a sandwich for a head. Maybe these slices of pizza are his arms, or I don't know, maybe Charlie Brown is his head. The good news, this doesn't have to make any sense. So I decided I would have a hamburger man who ordered food because you got to support your local restaurants. And the, uh, the delivery guy's like, here's your food. And he's like, thanks, I'm hungry, which is funny because he's made of food too. Lastly, I added details in the background, colored it in using whatever art materials I could find and sign my name. Here are a couple of random examples from the internet to give you a couple more ideas.